in my domain Got the whole crowd screaming out our name It's a blowout, it's a hurricane It's over before you know it While you're shaking, we're a dynasty In the making, we're the royalty Now we're breaking down the edge Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome here as we get set for race number 16 of the second season of the Anthony Ray Tax Slayer Truck Series. All three series are back here this weekend as we get ready to kick things off here today at Rockingham, North Carolina. Some people is known as North Carolina Speedway. Some people is just commonly known as The Rock. 40 laps of racing here today coming off the heels of a very exciting two races that we had last week for the trucks at Monster Rally, which saw one driver, Alex Hawkins, put his name now into the list of drivers that have a win this season to try and get a spot in the playoffs. And Heather Gallant winning her second race of the season, joining the likes of Oreo Pollard and Nick Johnson as a potential confirmed driver in one of the eight limited spots in this season's Tackler Truck Series chase for the championship. Only time will tell if that second win will be enough to lock her in. Coming into this race, the three multi-win drivers, Pollard is third in the points and starts on the pole here today. Heather Gallant is eighth in the standings and Nick Johnson is 18th. So right now, all three of them in good position ahead of 30th in the standings. So right now, all three of them would hold three of the eight available spots. Right now, the other five spots are currently held by race winners. Those drivers would include points leader Nathan Stapleton, second in the points, Tony Green, Patrick Curtis, Sky Commons, and right now the last spot is held by Ace Garcia, two points in hand over Jake Smith after the events last week at Monster Rally. However, Ace Garcia, Jake Smith, while these guys continue to battle amongst themselves for that final playoff spot, any driver ahead of them in the point stains that goes to victory lane for the first time this season automatically leapfrogs them. They jump into the top eight in the playoff slots, and Garcia and Jake Smith find themselves on the outside looking in. We'll have to see if something like that could happen here today. Starting on the pole for this race, as we mentioned, is Oreo Pollard going for an unprecedented fourth win this year. Can he do it? We'll have to see. He's got good starting track position. Alongside of him is the rookie Melody Baker in the three. Now, Melody's one of those drivers, like I said, that if she gets her first win, she would shake up the pot and she would get into one of those eight playoff spots after today. Nick Johnson, former winner this season, two-time winner, looking for his third win of the season, defending champ. Alongside of him is Hillary Sanchez, yet another driver. If she goes to victory lane, would jump into one of those eight playoff spots because both Melody Baker and Hilly Sanchez come into this race 6th and 11th in the points. Let's go down track so I get those most famous words in motorsports at Rockingham. Drivers, start your engines! And as the command is given, there'll be 40 laps of racing here today, so potentially, don't quote me on this, but potentially we could end up having uh, green flag pit stops here, so we'll have to wait and see if that's the case. It all depends really on how many cautions we have here today as well. As I recall for Rockingham, the uh, biggest trouble spot these drivers are going to have to deal with, especially on the initial start, they just came out of it. Turn number two's exit. A lot of drivers try and take that corner three wide and that outside line, especially early on, does not have a whole heck of a lot of grip. A lot of drivers go up the racetrack, slide into the wall, and uh, as a result, end up coming back down to traffic and causing wrecks 
on the back straightaway. Let's give you your top 10 in points coming to this race, presented by Golden Corral. Nathan Stapleton is the points leader, 12 points in hand over Tony Green. Oreo Pollard, Henry Williams, Patrick Curtis, that's your top five. Then Hillary Sanchez, Jack Legacy, Heather Gallant, Sky Commons, and Ryan Acosta. That is your top 10. We're ready to go racing here at the Rock Green Flags in the air. Let's roll. Already one truck in the wall and we hadn't even gotten into turn one. I think that was the 51 of Ace Garcia. Coming off of two, there you see a couple trucks in the wall. One was Garcia, I think the other one was Jake Moss further back. As the battle is on for the lead, Nick Johnson to the inside of Oreo Pollard. He'll take the spot, but will he lead the lap? Yes, he will, barely over the 11 of Ryan Brommer. Brommer now goes to the lead. Former Hershey's Cup Series champion Matt Haas moves to second. Woo! We got a car really squirrely back there. That's the 51 again in the middle. Ace Garcia's truck is not handling to his liking, apparently. As it's Ford, Toyota, Chevy, the top threes. Melody Baker moves into the podium spot. Now she goes to the inside of Matt Haas for second. Ryan Brommer comes into this race 35th in points as Oreo Pollard gets the wall there off turn two. So Ryan Brommer obviously still looking for his first win of the season, but I'm not really sure if, especially this late in the regular season, if the win would help him to get anywhere close to getting into one of those playoff positions. Melody Baker now moves to second. That moves Matt Haas back to a battle for third. Nick Johnson to the inside for that position. Oreo Pollard started on the pole, fading quickly. He's already outside of the top 10. Is now a battle between brothers. Michael to the inside of Matt as the Haas Racing teammates. Battle for fourth place. Battle is on for the lead. Ryan Brommer slipped up a little there in turn one. Melody Baker will get to the inside and actually quite impressed that these drivers there in the initial stages were able to give each other enough room and so far we are still green flag racing as now Nick Johnson gets the big run to the inside of Melody Baker for the top spot. Nick Johnson going for his third win of the season. Of course Nick Johnson the defending champion of the series looking to be a back-to-back -back champion. But last season in his championship season he only went to victory lane twice. Now trying to go to victory lane for the third time this year and for the fifth time in his Tax Slayer Truck Series career. Melody Baker looked like right there she got really loose into the entrance of turn one. That opened the door down low for Michael Haas to try and take the top spot. Michael Haas ran two seasons in the Pizza Hut X Series before moving over here to the trucks. Uh, both seasons running the number 19 Toyota Camry for Joe Gibbs Racing and never found victory lane. So he's not only looking for his first win of his Tax Slayer Truck Series career, but looking for his first win overall in the three top tier series. And I was about to give a shout out to Zach Winkle in the 90. He was up to third place, but you saw he got the wall pretty good there off turn two. And now he is fading towards the uh, outside of the top 10 very quickly. Of course, this is the second season of the series, and so we've only got one previous race here at this track to look back on. And the previous winner, the defending winner of this race, was Joshua Hyatt, who we will see in tomorrow's Pizza Deck Series race. Now, the truck that he drove is in this field, the number 83 out of Dollarton Motorsports. Joseph Romero behind the wheel looked like he was just outside the top 10 and was actually up on the high side, so he probably isn't going to crack the top 10 just yet. There's the seven. Last One of last week's winners, I should say, Alex Hawkins. He was in fourth last time by, but now has been kicked up the outside line. Now, after his win last week, Hawkins jumped up to 31st in points. If he can win here today, that would move him into the top 30 in the stands and also have him with two wins in the, or two, uh, number two in the win column which would put him into one of the playoff slots. But boy, oh, more bet important thing to worry about. Trouble in the back. That's the 90 of Zach Winkle around. Right in front of, I think that was Joseph Romero. And the caution is out. Caution is out for the first time here today. And Nick Johnson will lead them down here to this yellow flag. And that right there may have just thrown any uh, pit strategy out the window for potential green flag pit stops. 
lot of drivers as this run was going on the rubber going away the grip going away they were really having difficulty there out of turn two and it came to a head right there Zach Winkle spins in front of Joseph Romero and I think one of the uh, Cody Smart Motorsports trucks I'm not sure which one it was uh, either Nichols or Smith and I think that gives the idea right there the 29 run at the back here I think it was the 29 of Nichols that uh, was kind of held up as well by the spinning 90 truck who is still running. Looks like he's got, might have hit the wall with the right rear of his machine, but I'm not certain. Pits were open, and it doesn't look like any of the leaders are going to come to pit lane. Looks like there's actually some damage on the back of the 99 of Sky Commons. A little bit of left rear damage on his machine. Might have been a stack up under yellow. There is one truck coming to pit road. Actually, a couple of trucks. One of them is Ace Garcia. That's no surprise. He had a handful at the initial start. Jake Moss, Caitlin Sang, second of the points, Tony Green, Tyler Deaver, and couldn't tell who that other truck was back there. Oh, the 89 of Angel Alvarez is coming to pit road as well. So as the caution is out for the first time here today on the, I believe it was lap number 11, Let's go back and take a look and see what happened in depth here at Rockingham. I think it's also worth mentioning that uh, Michael Haas came down pit road as well. And I believe just before we came to the replay, it looked like Nick Johnson, the race leader, looked like he was indicating he was coming to pit road. But this is what brought out the caution. Watch the high side there. The 29 of Isaac Nichols way up the track, hits the wall, comes down into Ryan Brommer, and then gets turned into the right rear quarter panel of Zach Winkle. There you see the 83, the truck that went to victory lane here one year ago. Joseph Romero pancaked the driver's side down that inside safer barrier. Nichols go down, goes down and gets into it too, and maybe a little bit of contact in that wall for the left front of the Exalta Chevy Silverado as well. But they did a pretty good job after those three all hit the wall of keeping their truck straight and continuing on. So uh, we don't have really that violent of wrecks here at, at Rockingham. So I wouldn't say we got away with one, but uh, certainly there might have been more trucks swept up in that if people hadn't been aware of that wreck happening and giving each other room on the top side to be able to avoid. So, yeah, I guess we got away with one as far as only three, four trucks involved, but that's what brought out the caution for the first time here today. Let's go back for the restart. We're getting ready to go back green flag racing. We have a new race leader. Austin LaPlante will lead us back to green. Nick Johnson did indeed come to pit road. There he is, restarting at the tail end of the field in the 42nd position. So, maybe he expects these drivers up here cannot save enough fuel to be able to make it to the end. We're gonna have to wait and see. LaPlante will restart as the leader. Easton Barber lines up in second. Third place will be Tristan Allen. Fourth will be Brandon Joy. Fifth place for Michael Whitman. The rest of your top ten are going to be Melody Baker, Sky Commons, Patrick Curtis, and then completed by Ryan Acosta and Patrick Smith. So as we get ready to go back green, LaPlante, who comes into this race 36th in the point standings, will lead us back to the green flag so one Thor Sport car gives up the lead in favor of another Thor Sport Toyota Tundra we will have to keep tabs on the 41 of Nick Johnson here during the course of this run and see if he's gonna be able to make his way back up towards the front after giving up the race lead to come to pit road not quite yet to the halfway point of this race battle will be on for second between Easton Barber and rookie Brandon Joy Brandon Joy saw his teammate Alex Hawkins go to victory lane last week in the first race at Monster Rally. He wants to get his first career win now. And even with a single file start, you see in there drivers like Easton Barber, Tristan Allen sliding up there into the wall. Remember, these drivers did not come to pit road under that yellow flag, so they still are running on worn tires, which means they're not still going to have a lot of grip coming off of turn two. Joy to the lead, Patrick Smith now to the inside for second on um, Patrick Curtis. And I believe, isn't that Hillary Sanchez there in the 73 starting to make some moves? Yes, it is. Sanchez, who was close to picking up her first win last week at Monster Rally, got denied though and 
Now trying to get it here today at Rockingham as Matt Haas to the bottom of the racetrack will take second place and now tries to get the runoff turn two for the lead. We got a truck, I think, that just came off pit road. 51 of Ace Garcia. That is an unscheduled stop for him. And certainly not what he needed here with the fact that he is battling Jake Smith right now for that final playoff position. Two point separation between himself and the 19. This is gonna put him way behind the eight ball. I don't know if he is necessarily off the lead lap right now or if he got out ahead of the leaders. No, he didn't. He's a lap down and we have a truck out of the race. The three of Melody Baker who restarted inside the top 10 has now taken her truck behind the wall. An engine problem for that car out of Michael Norman Motorsports. Baker came into this race 11th in the point standings and not the run she was looking for. Battles on for second, about a half second behind the current race leader, Matt Haas, Harrison Ponder and Michael Whitman. It looks like Ponder will take the spot on the high side. Whitman right behind him, the truck he drove last season, former teammate Easton Barber, that's the battle for third. Sky Commons, we mentioned had that damage it looked like on the uh, left rear that hasn't seemed to affect the 99 at all. Commons up here in the fifth position. Commons ninth in the point stands, looking for his second win of the year. Is trying to fight off a sneeze and it's not coming. Matt Haas though out in front. Remember back to Darlington, it was looking like Matt Haas was gonna win that race. But in the end, he was not able to close out the deal. Eventual winner was Tony Green after green flag pit stops and Matt Haas had to settle for second place, so not wanting to finish bridesmaid here today. Former champion in the Hershey's Cup Series decided to make the move down here to the trucks. And neither he nor his brother in the newly formulated team this year have found victory lane. Right now though, that eight truck looks really strong. The only thing I would wonder about is, are these guys gonna have to come to pit road? Driver popping his way up here into the top 10 that I would keep an eye on here coming into the home stretch. That's Nicholas Rail in the 54. Remember he was a two time winner last season when he drove an underfunded 94 team truck. Nicholas Rail now with really good equipment over at Kyle Busch Motorsports. One of his teammates has already gone to victory lane this season. Ace Garcia at Daytona. And Nicholas Rail made some strides late in the regular season last year. I wouldn't expect anything less here today. He's up in the fourth position now trying to take third from Patrick Curtis almost two tires down that yellow line for Brandon Joyce he goes to the inside of Scott Commons that was a battle for fifth but just for a quick moment as this battle goes on here for second place that's the best battle on track we're gonna jump back here try and find the 41 of Nick Johnson see how he's been able to make his way through the field he's done a pretty doggone good job restarted back in the 42nd position and last time Bobby he was scored in 18th so he has cracked the top 20 and continuing to pick up spots in that inside line he's I think probably a little faster than drivers ahead of him here because he came to pit road under that last caution a number of these drivers did not just ahead of him is the points leader Nathan Stapleton there in the 92 running I think in the 16th position As we look up here at the front, Ponder gets the wall there. As we look at the front here, Ace Garcia trying to get one of his laps back. He's two laps down to the leader, Matt Haas. Now the driver he's worrying about right now is the 19 of Jake Smith, who obviously will be running ahead of him on track. But let's see if we can find that 19. There he is. He's not running too much better is Jake Smith. He's 37th right now, just ahead of his teammate Isaac Nichols. Actually, looks like he's got some uh, left rear damage. Yeah, you can see that there's a kind of a bent down bit on the left side of that rear spoiler. And that'll be affecting him aerodynamically wise, especially on the straightaways. You notice the 58 of Ricky Cervantes back there too. I think he's got damage. I thought I saw him pancake the wall back in the last green flag run. Matt Haas right now enjoying over a second lead as he still continues to battle the lap truck of Ace Garcia. Michael Whitman now moves to second and that's where the best battling on track is going on right now, at least towards the front of the field. 
Now Whitman breaks away with second place. Now the battle's on for third. Patrick Curtis, Hillary Sanchez, Sky Commons, Brandon Joy, and Nicholas Rail. If I'm not mistaken, we were following uh, Nick Johnson's progress up through the field. I believe Angel Alvera restarted back in the 41st position, and now Angel has cracked the top 10. So another truck doing a good job fighting her way up through the field. Tyler Deaver with a big run there on the front straightaway, gonna get to the inside and take the 10th spot. Tyler Deaver, a former winner this season at Dover. And while this track is obviously longer than Dover, the, the turns, and especially the exit off the corner, kind of remind me a bit of Dover. So maybe not a surprise to be seeing Tyler doing so well here today. Angel Alvarez says, all right, you got that run on me. I'm going to get the run on you this time. And Tyler Deaver saw it coming, went down to throw the block, as now these two will battle with Easton Barber. Another truck in the wall. That time it was uh, Sky Commons in the 99. You got to think maybe that spoiler damage affecting him aerodynamically wise is now second place. Going to go to the 70 of Brandon Joy. But again, this all going on behind Matt Haas, who is continuing to open up the gap between himself and and second place. He's now opened it up to two and a half seconds and has the lap truck of Ace Garcia between himself and second place. Another thing that's also on his side is the fact that the laps are winding down. Six laps to go as Matt Haas hits the line. Now Matt comes into this race 33rd in the point standings. Two top fives, two top tens. Still good for his first win of the season. I think more than likely if he closes out the deal here he's gonna probably with where he is position in points gonna have to rely on another trip to victory lane before the regular season's over in order to get into the playoffs but certainly a big statement here right now for Matt Haas and the fact that he's a former Hershey's Cup Series champion a lot of people were looking at him to be maybe one of the favorites coming into this season with the experience he has up in the top tier of series but it's been a bit of a struggle for him so this is certainly a silver lining in the cloud for Matt Haas. And like we mentioned, he finished bridesmaid back at Darlington, where it was looking like he was going to be the prime contender for the win there. So maybe getting some sweet redemption here at Rockingham. If he can close out the deal, that time by his lead was cut into by Brandon Joy. Cut it down by maybe about four tenths. But Brandon Joy is going to have to deal with Ace Garcia before he can even get up there to the eight of Matt Haas. That time looked like Matt got through three and four a little bit better, didn't swing up right close to the wall. And three laps to go for the number eight, Toyota Tundra, who again that time lost about two tenths to Brandon Joy. But I think if he can kind of continue to maintain the gap somewhere around maybe one and a half seconds, I don't think they can get to him here in these final two and a half laps. Plus, like I said, that 51 of Ace Garcia is going to be a Moving chicane for those drivers second on back as well. Two laps to go, and that time he gained about nine one hundredths, so an even two seconds back to the second place truck, which right now is the zero of Patrick Curtis. Good run for Curtis, good run for Tony Green, who now moves up into the third position, and Nick Johnson, the 41, has cracked the top five. What a comeback for a guy who restarted under our last caution back in the 41st position. Johnson got a flying machine, and now Tony Green's going to try and take second place. Brandon Joy is going to follow him as the white flag was displayed for the race leader, Matt Haas. Joseph Romero with an unscheduled stop comes back onto the racetrack right in front of the leader, but it's not going to cause any issue. Out of turn four for the final time, his first truck series race of the season, Matt Haas wins at Rockingham. Another old track like Darlington, and he takes the checkers. A couple of drivers had to come to pit road there under those closing stages. Nichols, Winkle, and Patrick Smith. So that's, they're going to pay the price for that in, in the uh, running order. But Matt Haas closes the deal here today and takes the checkered flag at Rockingham, North Carolina. Like I said... With this win, I think it'll move him into the top 30 in the point standings. He was only 10 points back from 30th in the standings coming into this race. But I think in order for him to get one of those eight playoff spots with where he is positioned in points coming into this one, and with only five races remaining in the regular season, I think he's going to have to probably try and find victory lane at least one more time 
here during the regular season. But uh, good run for the uh, Haas Racing drivers overall as his younger brother Michael brought it home in the 10th position. Standing should be official now, including the drivers that had to come to pit road there in the closing stages, and there were actually quite a number of them. 23 drivers made it back to the uh, start-finish line without having to pit. But Matt Haas with the win. Tony Green brings it home in second. And the driver he was trying to battle for the points, lead, Nathan Stapleton, finishes in 13th. So that was a separation of, I think, 12 positions between those two. And the gap between those two was 12 points. So it's either going to be a tie right now between Tony Green and Nathan Stapleton, or Stapleton's going to have Green by one point as far as the points lead battle heading into next week. Brandon Joy brings it home in the third position with Patrick Curtis in fourth. And how about Nick Johnson there finishing in fifth? Picked up, uh, what was it, like 37 spots on that last green flag run. Great run for P.J. Williams. We never talked about the 10 all day. A solid outing for him as he'll finish in sixth. Sky Commons brings it home there in seventh. Angel Alvera restarted back in 41st on that last restart. Finishes in the top 10 in eighth. Hillary Sanchez brings it home in ninth. That completing the top 10 was Matt Haas. Tyler Deaver's going to finish the day out solidly in 11th. 12th place for Jake Moss. 13th is Nathan Stapleton, who will either keep or be tied for the points lead. Caitlin Sang will finish in 14th, and Ryan Brommer completes the top 15. rest of your top 20 are going to be Wyatt Walker, Pulsitter, Oreo Pollard back at 17th, Marty Zakala in 18th, Ryan Acosta 19th, and top 20 completed by Tristan Allen. The rest of the drivers finish on the lead lap were... Henry Williams, Jack Legacy, and Paul Minnick, 23 drivers in total, finishing on the lead lap. The rest of the other drivers finished off the lead lap, having to pit there in the closing stages. As you look on down there, a couple of uh, notables. Heather Gallant, two-time winner down there in the 41st position. And Jake Smith in 34th, one lap down, with Ace Garcia 40th, two laps down. Neither driver with a great run here today, but I think... In terms of the battle for that eighth final playoff position, uh, right now I think it would currently be in possession of Jake Smith. But uh, with Marty Zakala finishing 18th, he might be pretty close to being up in that conversation now as well. Let's see the gap between uh, Marty Zakala and Jake Smith coming into this race was 20 points. Zakala finished 18th and Smith finished in 35th. I think, I might be wrong, but I think that the 8th playoff spot right now is held by Marty Zakala over Ace Garcia and Jake Smith. So, how about that? Marty Zakala right now in playoff slot number 8, if my calculations are correct. But anyway, that's going to do it here today from our race from Rockingham, North Carolina. Hope you guys enjoyed today's event. If you did, be sure to give us a like, subscribe to become a part of the crew today. We have shown you full fish results. These are your rookie point stands and your overall point stands heading into next week's race where we will see these trucks at the place that started off the season, our second trip to Daytona International Speedway. We still got to finish out this weekend, though. Rocking in North Carolina going to play host to the Pizza Deck Series and the Hershey Cup Series as well. Those two events will be coming up next. We'll see you guys next time here as you've been watching a production of the NSA Ray Offline Race Nets Best. Good day from Rockingham.